program. That's exactly right. I mean, people like Hope McAllister, she was the head of the uh, Fast and Furious operation. And then you've got um, you know, other people, for example, the uh, uh, Phoenix Group 7, David uh, uh, Voth, who's a group supervisor. You, you've got all of these people who are in some way, shape, or form can be, can be drawn back to uh, either Barack Hussein Obama, Eric Holder, or Janet Napolitano, Bill Newell. A, a very infamous character in this uh, Fast and Fu uh, Furious operation. Uh, he's got direct ties to uh, 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 various people within the uh, Obama administration. So what we have here is, in my estimation, based on my research, is the fact that you've got, um, well, you've got admissions prior to Agent, Agent Terry's death of this operation is going back to as early as 2009, this one particular um, news conference by David Ogden, who at that time was 12 days into an appointment of Assistant U.S. Attorney General, who said, who mentioned Fast and Furious by name, and he was standing right next to Janet Napolitano. Um, and the other thing, too, May 3rd, 2011, Holder, was to, uh, Holder testified before Congress, before, ICE, or before uh, the Oversight Committee. It's interesting that the day before that testimony, that Holder and Obama both visited the East Room of the White House on May 2nd, the day before that hearing, to talk to Obama in the East Room of the White House. And the White House logs were expunged as to the purpose of the visit and the length of uh, time of the visit. And I mean, before the scandal erupted, the setup was this claim, which was later proven false, by the Obama administration that 90% of weapons confiscated by the Mexican authorities linked to this violence originated in the U.S. And as you point in, out in your article, that's a complete myth, isn't it? Yes, yes, uh, it is. And I think Alex has been talking about this consistently, and he's got it right. You know, the, Amer the American, the Amer American military, I mean, the American government's been selling weapons to the, uh, the drug cartels. It's not the gun shop owners. It's not the people that, uh, uh, I mean, it, guns are going to Mexico, but it's with the imprimatur of this administration, and in particular, not only Eric Holder, but uh, I believe, based on the, especially based on the claims of executive uh, privilege and research, that Barack Hussein Obama is, is elbow deep in this, as is Janet Napolitano. And, and inside sources are saying Napolitano will be, we'll see the inside of a jail at some point. Now, I mean, to, to me, that, that's a pretty, um, pretty powerful statement. These are inside sources saying this. I'd like to see that to be true. Well, we've got, we've got this contempt vote coming up. We've got talk of a compromise between Holder and the Republicans. Once this unravels, you know, over and above all the Bertha stuff, which kind of keeps cropping up and dying down again, do you think this scandal could bring down the administration? I'd, you know, I'd like to think so, uh, Paul. I, I really like to think so, but why hasn't it brought it down, or why hasn't uh, – what's, what's taken so long to this point? I'd like to think it could bring it down. But, you know, you've got uh, uh, Boehner, you've got ISA. They're acting as if they're, they're neutered in the presence of Elijah Cummings, for example, which is uh, ISIS's counterpart. I, I mean, the, the politics on this, I mean, what, exactly what do they have on, on Boehner and on uh, ISA, where, where ISA and Boehner are not going after uh, Holder and company a little bit more um, aggressively? Why are they accepting just simply black sheets of paper? for, you know, when, when, when they get subpoenaed, uh, why are they accepting only, a th you know, 3% of, of what, what is being subpoenaed? Why is this okay? Why is this okay in 2012, but in 1971 or 72 and 73 during Watergate, that would never stand? So that's my question. I'd like to see it bring, you know, bring down or shed some light on this administration, but I, I'm not going to hold my breath on that. Okay, shifting gears now, uh, you were kind enough to send us the email today explaining this uh, staggering explanation that you received from your website provider, which is GoDaddy, uh, after you basically were informed that your website was being shut down. So apparently, Doug, putting out this kind of information is, quote, maliciously harmful to individuals in the government. 
that's what they told you. Explain to her to us how it all unfolded from the start. Well, at uh, 7.20 p.m. I on Friday, last Friday, I received an email from the Internet Service pro uh, Provider GoDaddy where my website was hosted. And, and the operative word here is was because that's since changed since that day, giving me 48 hours to remove my website from their servers or it would be forcibly taken down. Um, and, of course, they cited some sort of violation of terms of service and gave me a link to the uh, standard agreement. The, it's interesting because the terms of service was pretty broad and basic, so I contacted the investigative division, uh, an investigator in the abuse division at uh, GoDaddy, and I said, hey, tell me exactly what I violated, where I violated it, and, and how I violated it, uh, your terms of service. And the, re the pr reply was that the entirety of my website, and I think you might have the uh, email there, that the entirety of my website uh, was... Uh, uh, morally objectionable and that was the first call or, that I made that statement was made and uh, so I waited several hours and uh, during which time I, I sought counsel again Canada Free Press is a, it was a great help to me our association with them and uh, I, I sought counsel and, and figured that uh, they could go daddy could do what they want in fact they've done this before to other websites and uh, so I called in the middle of the night, in the middle of their night, in the middle of my night, I called, uh, talked to another investigator. And I said, "Hey, really, what's up? Can you tell me what's up with this?" And uh, th this guy, this guy was really kind of playing around with me in terms of, I really can't tell you, but you know, kind of like if you can guess, you know, I might just uh, help you along a little bit. Ultimately, it was found that uh, the uh, complaint or or originated ostensibly originated from um, a group associated with the campaign to reelect Barack Hussein Obama. Okay, now, again, this wasn't said in that manner. It was more or less, uh, it, was, it was a word game we were playing, basically, because he couldn't tell me, he wouldn't tell me, but if I guess correctly, you know, there would be a silence, and of course, that's where, where it ended. And I believe, based on additional research and investigation, that uh, uh, my contact with my Department of Homeland Security source, Rosebud, I believe that that has a big part to play in this, where they don't want any more information uh, from this DHS contact to come out because it was so explosive. And, and because your, your program, uh, InfoWars, and the, you know, Alex Jones really assisted that story in going viral. And I think that they wanted to, to stop... A, any repeat of that. So in 24, actually in 48 hours, uh, we had to take our site offshore uh, and do some other things, which I which I won't tell, just to ensure that we're that we're up and we're going to stay up and running, and certainly we're not going to be subjected to any type of censorship. I mean, this just goes straight to the heart of, as you said, censorship and free speech. I mean, it was yeah. it was GoDaddy that lost 37,000 accounts due to their failure to oppose SOPA, the Stop Online yeah. Privacy Act, a few months back. So, That's right. you know, they're, they're quite clear in the fact that they don't support free speech, and we've seen that again in your case. So you're saying that it was basically the Obama truth teams that went in and demanded that your website be removed, because we've seen that before. We've yes. seen WikiLeaks, you know, get they get a phone call from Joe Lieberman, and Amazon acts as WikiLeaks off their servers. So... I mean, it's, it's not out of the question, and you're saying that basically your conversation with this representative at GoDaddy, you ascertained that that was the case. I, I did, and then I also contacted today another source outside of the venue of, of hosting companies, just to be sure. I, I, and I said, look, do you believe, you know, can you, well, first of all, can you do some research, uh, and do you believe that, that uh, for example, the, uh, the commentary or the information with respect to, uh, to my source within DHS, is this partly or wholly responsible for this? And the response I got back was, look, it's, uh, there's no, no moral objection to anything with respect to, to your website. I mean, you've got no pornography, no, yeah, I mean, no, nothing that would uh, upset the reasonable sensibilities of, of any person or person looking at it. Um, and uh, the information did back up the, uh, uh, what was said about the, the DHS insider. So, you know, I mean, it, it's, it's pretty clear to me 
that the censorship team, the Obama Truth Team, and I'm laying this right on the doorstep of the Obama Truth Team. This is me saying this now, based on my research. And again, we had a really scramble this weekend. I mean, my son was getting married on Saturday. I get this Friday night. I get I got 48 hours to 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 find another home for my website right now. It's a tedious process, as people know, time consuming and costly. It could be very costly. And that was thrown at me all at once. And again, 48 hours, or else we're going to pull the plug. And, you know, so there's definitely uh, some interesting timing as well as um, uh, I suspect we do. Again, with your help I, 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 and your, the propulsion that, that you provided to the story, I really think that, uh, that they were very upset about the story, about the DHS information leaking out. Well, I mean, that's just amazing. I'm definitely going to do an article on this tomorrow with the video interview we've just done. Now, in closing, tell people about your website, um, bearing in mind the fact you were able to save it in the end and get it up on another server, on another ISP. Tell people about your website and some of, some of your other material here in closing. Well, th well, thank you, Paul, for allowing me to do that. It's homelandsecurityus.com. That's homelandsecurityus.com, despite the name not affiliated with any government agency. We're independent, we're an independent investigative agency. And, and our sister company is CanadaFreePress.com. Uh, and I have to give them a lot of thanks for, for uh, their uh, involvement in, in all of this. And what we do is we attempt to expose the truth with respect to the real terror threat. At this point, the real terror threat is in fact this administration and and any the, the entire new world order architecture i should say is the real terror threat right now that the the uh the, the world bank the people behind that and, and we're exposing pretty much uh parallel with with your organization the same people and 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 it's so important uh like this to work together um because certainly you know our information uh, verifies what you find and, and vice versa. So it's so important to, 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 uh, to have this relationship, I think. Well, we'll certainly have you back on uh, as fast and furious unfolds. And as I said, I mean, that's a staggering story about GoDaddy and the Obama yeah. truth teams at work again. Uh, I'm going to do an article about that first thing in the morning, and we're going to have this video interview embedded in the article but for now douglas j hagman thanks for joining us this evening on infowars nightly news thanks for having me sir thank you remember folks prisonplanet.tv that's where you can support us uh, many of you will be watching this on youtube but um all your support is very much needed the server costs the bandwidth the websites the employees you know the deal by now and we're still running the 15-day free trial at prisonplanet.tv. You get live streaming video of InfoWars Nightly News, the Alex Jones Show, speeches, special events, archive material going back as um, far back as April 2004 when we first launched it. And we've kept it at the same price ever since. And it's prisonplanet.tv. Also, the InfoWars social network, Planet InfoWars. Again, thousands and thousands of you have been joining this a massive rallying point for the resistance. You can search for groups in your area, get active, meet each other, start campaigns. There's even a dating section for meeting other people. And it's planetinfowars.com. So be sure to sign up today. And that's going to wrap it up this edition of InfoWars Nightly News. We'll see you tomorrow. I've been Paul Joseph Watson. Thank you.